welcome to Cake and It's Special. I hope you're all having a magical day. So for this week's cake, I decided to make a magician's hat. So here we go. I begin with three six inch vanilla cakes that I stack up using vanilla buttercream. Once I put the third layer on top, I wanted there to be just a little more height. So I leveled off one of my cake lids and added that on as well. I then leave that in the fridge for around 10 minutes to set up before I start to carve. In a way, any of your excess buttercream, you can save that to use for your crumb coat. When it comes to carving this cake, I wanted it to be wider at the top and thinner at the bottom, but I didn't just want it to be straight lines. So what I did was I carved it going in and then back out with a bit of a curve. working your way around the cake until it looks the same from all sides. Once you're happy with that, you can then go ahead and add your crumb coat. When you've done your crumb coat, leave your cake in the fridge for around 20 minutes and then apply your next layer of buttercream. I like to make sure that this layer is as smooth as possible, so for this I use my offset spatula and a flexible smoother as well. Flip the cake over using a board on top and a board underneath. Cover the cake in black fondant, immediately smoothing out around that top edge to avoid the fondant from tearing. I also cover a 10 inch cake wall with black fondant. I do them one side at a time, leaving them to dry in between. I attach the fondant with a little bit of water. I add dowels to this cake so it will support the decorations I'm going to put on top. I use a ruler to cut a strip of red fondant for the band of my hat. I score a line around it to give it a little more detail. I attach my red band with a little bit of water. I 
I do lots of flipping of this cake throughout this process. I add my brim on top, attaching it with a little bit of buttercream. And I use a ruler to make sure that the brim is level all the way around the cake. I also take some fondant and I make some rings, a dice, a coin and a magic wand. And I leave them aside for a while. Paint my rings and my coin in a silver petal dust with a little bit of clear food grade alcohol. I add black food gel to the marks on my dice. Take some white gum paste and make some bunny ears by forming a tall cone and then use my hand to create the dint. I create a fur effect on the side of the ears with a sculpting tool. I also leave one of the ears supported on something else so that it looks like it's folding over a little bit. I add dowels inside the bunny ears just to give them a little warm support. I add a little pink petal dust inside the ears. The board and the top of my hat I do a cloth effect. I do this by rolling out red fondant nice and thin and then I just drape it on and let it fall naturally so it looks like fabric. Now when I imagined doing this magician's hat, I wanted it to look like it was in a nighttime magician show. So I dusted all the red fondant with a bit of black luster dust where shadows would form. I also use some gum paste and a template to cut out some playing cards and I paint the details on with food colouring gel. Now it's time to put it all together, my favourite bit. Okay guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next Wednesday at 5pm GMT. And until then, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you, bye.